Okay, so in this video, again, we're going to look at some more uh, quadratic equations and how to solve them. So this question we have here is it one of the harder examples, so it doesn't look like a quadratic equation from straight off, but it is. So if they ask you to solve something like this, uh, how are you going to do it? So first of all, you want to get rid of the x in the bottom. Okay, so we're going to multiply both sides by x just to get rid of that. So I'm just going to say multiply by x, okay? So that means over the whole thing, I'll go with these little brackets there. So if you multiply this by x, we're going to get x squared minus 6x is equal to 3 because you're going to get the x on top and on the bottom and they'll cancel that and you'll be left with 3 here so now x squared minus 6x minus 3 is equal to 0 this is looking a little bit more like a quadratic okay so uh, I cannot think of any factors here that it's going to work so uh, nothing that 3 multiplies by itself to get uh, 6 basis or minus 3 to get minus 6 so I'm going to use the quadratic formula so I'll just write that over here so x is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a where this is so a is equal to 1 b is equal to minus 6 and c is equal to minus 3. So this might be helpful if you like, like writing this out so you know exactly what you're going to sub into this little formula here. Okay, so I'm going to continue with the quadratic formula in green. And over here. x is equal to minus b, which is minus minus 6. So I'm going to go plus 6, plus or minus square root of b squared. So we're going to have minus 6 squared. Uh, minus 4 by a which is 1 and c which is minus 3 and all of this over 2a which is going to be 2 because 2 by 1 is going to be just 2 okay uh, let's scroll up a little bit more okay so that means that x is going to give us 6 plus or minus the square root of 36 which is 6 squared or minus 6 squared is still going to be 36 uh, plus 12 because 4 by 3, minus 4 by minus 3 is going to be positive, and it's going to be positive 12. Just going to clean this up, so it's going to be 6 plus or minus the square root of 48, all divided by 2. Okay, so we're going to drop another line. Uh, sorry, there we go. Okay, that means x is going to give us 6 plus or minus for the square root of 3 so this is thirds again we're going to do this later but if you want you can just do that in your calculator so put in the square root of 48 you'll get 4 square root of 3 uh, and if you divide so 2 is in the bottom here so another way of writing this you could say 6 over 2 plus or minus 4 the square root of 3 over 2 so that it's still dividing by both of them uh, and this will give us an answer like x is equal to 3 so let's so scroll up 6 over 2 is going to be 3, plus or minus 2 to the square root of 3. So uh, our two roots are going to be x is equal to 3 plus 2 root 3, or x is equal to 3 minus 2 root 3. And those are our two answers. So remember, whenever they ask you to solve a quadratic equation, they want the roots, not just the factors. So if you get the factors, you have to go one step further and just get the roots, okay? So again, I'll just go back to the start. If they give you an awkward question like that, hopefully you'll recognize it now and be able to multiply it all across by x and you'll turn it into a quadratic. And once you have it as a quadratic, it shouldn't be too hard to solve. Okay, uh, I'm going to erase all of this now instead of making a new video and I'm going to go through one more example because just a little bit of time. Try to keep the videos as short as possible. Uh, and sometimes the eraser just doesn't work for some reason. Bear with me. Black. Okay. Uh, so we're going to erase all of this. Erase, 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 erase. Yeah, so the next one is going to be a little bit of a harder example. Uh, again, it's not going to look like it's just a quadratic straight off. We're going to have to change it a little bit first before we go ahead and solve it as a quadratic. Sorry about this, it's just easier, I think, than making a new video for everyone. Almost done, almost done. No missed spots. All good, okay? 
Sorry about that. I'm going to start this one in yellow, okay? So you're going to get some... Oh, okay, that's definitely not right. <laughs> okay. T minus 6 over T all squared minus 6 by T minus 6 over T uh, plus 5 is equal to 0. So this may not look immediately like a quadratic equation, uh, but it is, okay? So if you try to multiply this out and then multiply the whole thing out, your head might explode. I'm almost certain it would. It'll just be way too messy and I don't think, you'll almost certainly make a mistake. It's just definitely the wrong way to go about it. So if you're clever and you see that this bracket here looks kind of like where an x would be, so an x squared minus 6 x and plus 5. So we're not going to use x, but what we're going to say is we're going to say u is equal to t minus 6 over t. So if you say that, suddenly you have a new quadratic equation ahead of you. So you're going to have u squared minus 6u, is that a minus or a plus 5? Plus 5. Plus 5 is equal to 0. So now we have a normal quadratic equation that we should be able to solve quickly enough, and once we have it solved, then we can look at this one here, okay? So if you try to multiply that all out, your head will explode, so don't do that. Always look at trying to sub uh, a u. So u is just, num like, we recommend not using x, just because you use x so much, so u is kind of a substitute letter you use, okay? Uh, so if we solve this one here, we're going to factorize it, so we're just going to draw brackets here, u and u. And the factors we're going to do are minus 1 and minus 5. Because if you multiply minus 1 by minus 5, you're going to get plus 5 here. So that's a factor of plus 5. Also, if you add minus 1 and minus 5, you're going to get minus 6 here. Okay? So minus 1, minus 5 is equal to 0. Uh, that means u is going to be equal to 1, or u is going to be equal to 5. Okay? Uh, and then I'm going to scroll down a little bit further. So that means... Remember, u is equal to t minus 6 over t. So that means u is going to be equal to, so I'm going to write this one here. So it's going to be 1 is equal to t minus 6 over t. Or, and this one in yellow, we're going to have 5 is equal to t minus 6 over t. Okay? So two different options now. Again, this looks very like the one we did last time, just before I erased it. So I'm going to continue in blue anyway, with just this one to start. So we have to multiply everything here by t. So we're going to say multiply by t. So this is going to be t is equal to t squared minus 6. You remember that t is going to cancel. So we're going to get t squared minus t minus 6 is equal to 0. So I just swapped the 0 onto the side just because it's normally easier to read from left to right. So now we have to factorize this one again. Um, running out of space here at the bottom. T and T are factors we're going to use. is going to be minus 3 and plus 2. So if you multiply minus 3 and plus 2, you're going to get minus 6. Also, if you add minus 3 and plus 2, you're going to get minus 1. That is what we have here before. The T is technically a minus 1T, okay? So what do I say? You said minus 3 and plus 2. So squeeze these in at the bottom here. That means T is going to be equal to 3 in one box, or t is going to be equal to minus 2 in our second box. Uh, and now we need to go up and solve this one. So this one is actually going to end up with four different solutions for uh, what started off as a, not as a quadratic, but almost a quadratic. Um, yeah, sorry, so I'm going to multiply everything by t again, so it's going to be the same, the same deal. Multiply by t, we're going to get 5t is equal to t squared minus 6. That's going to be t squared minus 5t minus 6 is equal to 0. And again, this is just another quadratic. So get our factorizing brackets out, equal to 0. This one we're going to choose. We're going to do minus 6 and plus 1. Yeah. So if you go minus 6 multiplied by plus 1, you'll get minus 6 as your answer. Also, if you add minus 6 and plus 1, you'll get minus 5. So they're the ones we're going to pick for our factors, uh, t minus 6 and t plus 1, yeah, and so our answers then are going to be t is equal to 6, 1 box, or t is equal to minus 1 in our second box. So those were our two more difficult examples of um, 
sorry, are two more different examples of solving quadratic equations. Remember the first one, if it comes like this, it can still be a quadratic equation. You just have to multiply everything by t. And then the second one, uh, something like this, definitely never try to multiply it out because like I keep saying, your head will explode. Instead, substitute another letter in and then use that as a quadratic. So obviously that won't always work if it's not a quadratic, but a lot of the time they have, they've asked this question before and you need to substitute your u value in and then uh, you can solve it as an easier quadratic. So it does still take a while, but definitely is quicker than trying to solve that. Okay, thank you.